In today's note flight tutorial, we're going to look at importing triads or chords, and we'll use those terms interchangeably, in the treble clef of the piano. For the point of the exercise, I've added in 12 bar blues walking bass line. You might have a blank bass line at the moment, and that's fine. You can still input chords without a bass line. My piece of music is currently in the key of G major. So the first thing that you're going to do is to change the key of your piece of music. The simplest way to change the key and to ensure that it applies to the entire score is to press Command A or Control A if you're on a Windows machine. You'll first need to click in the score and press the hotkey combination. I pressed Command A, I'm on a Mac. I then come over to Measure and if you haven't opened your menu at the side, simply click on the three lines, click on Measure and then change key signature. My piece of music is already in the key of G, so I'll highlight it, press OK, and click back into my score. Now that we've changed the key signature, we can start to import some chords. Being uh, in the 12 bar blues, we'll start on chord 1 for the first 4 bars, move to chord 4, uh, back to 1, to 5, 4 and 1. This means that our first 4 bars are going to be using the triad G, We'll then use the triad C, back to the triad G, triad D, C, and G. But we're going to look at only the first six bars or so together. To input triads or chords, the first thing that I need to do is to select the bar that I'd like to input notes in. I do this by clicking on the rest, and when I move my cursor away from the rest, you'll see that a faint note head appears. I know that my first triad is built on G, B and D. So I can click on the G line and a note will appear. To input a second note, I click on the note head again and input my next note. I repeat the process by clicking on the note head and importing the next note. Now that I have one triad in, I want to change the rhythm a little bit because playing all crotchets the whole way through is going to be a bit boring. I'm going to, whilst my note is highlighted, come up to the rhythm dot, click on the rhythm dot, and now I have a dotted crotchet. To input my next note, I can simply click, but alternatively, we can use a quicker method. I'm going to delete the note that I just input by pressing delete, and I'm going to click back on the first rhythm. To save me having to input each note individually each time, I'm going to use the replicate function. I do this by clicking on my rhythm, pressing R, and my note will be replicated again. Now all I need to do is to change the rhythm, not to input the notes. I'm going to come up, turn off my rhythm dot, and change my rhythm to an eighth note or a quaver. Now I have a dotted crotcher quaver rhythm. For the remainder of my bar, I can now highlight both rhythms and replicate them over. I can click on my first rhythm, I can hold shift, and I can click on my second rhythm to highlight. I can then press replicate and I've filled my first bar. To complete my second, third and fourth bar of music, I'm going to click in my first bar, highlight it and press replicate three times. Let's listen to the first four bars of music. I can get my music to play by either pressing spacebar or by pressing P. Alternatively, I can press play at the top. I'm going to press spacebar. I've pressed spacebar to stop and I'll also press the stop button so that I can go back to the edit view. I have the correct triads in, my rhythm is a little bit repetitive and annoying, however we've now inputted triads and you can experiment with your own rhythm combinations. In our next bar of music we need to move to the C triad or triad number four. The simplest way to do that is to click in our fourth bar 
and to replicate the notes over. Now we can use the arrows to transpose them from G up to C. I know that C is in the third space in the treble clef, so I'll arrow up until my bottom note is sitting in the third space. And now I have C, E and G. Given that I didn't really like that rhythm combination for the first four bars, I'm going to make a change by clicking on my third rhythm in. I'm going to change it to a half note or a minimum. I'm now going to replicate this bar of music over by highlighting pressing R. Now I've got my first six bars of music in. I know that my next two bars of music are based on the first four bars of music, so I'm simply going to click, shift, highlight, command C or control C to copy, and command C or control V to paste. And I've now filled my first eight bars. At bar nine, in my 12 bar blues, I have the D major triad. Once again, I can use a very similar method to inputting my last few triads. I can click in the previous bar, which contains the G triad. I can press replicate, and I can use my arrows. I could arrow it up above C, however, that would be getting a little bit high. Instead, this time, I'm going to arrow down to the D just below the treble staff. For the last three bars, I can follow the same process. Whilst my bar is highlighted, I'm going to replicate. This time, I'm going to arrow it down to C. I'm going to replicate it again. I'm going to move it up to G, but I'm going to move my triad into the third inversion and bring my D down from the top to the bottom. This is still a G major triad, however the note D has been moved to the bottom, so rather than G B D, it's now D G B. I'm going to change up my rhythm just a little. and I'm going to replicate it over into my last bar of music. Okay, let's see how my triads sound. I'll play from the start. You'll probably notice that where I have voiced my triads differently by moving them into inversions sounds a lot better than when I've moved my triads in what we call parallel motion. Thanks for watching the tutorial and I hope it helps.